This clothing line in Brooklyn, New York turns fabric scraps into fashion. We take textile scraps that are completely irregular shapes and we stitch them back together to create a new flat textile that you can make anything out of. Designer Daniel Silverstein started Zero Waste Daniel in 2015 after years of designing a high-end fashion line. I was sick of making cocktail and evening dresses. I was so stressed out designing all the time. And I just thought, like, this isn't helping anybody. So I decided to close down my studio in the city. And I just, you know, had a lazy afternoon of packing up. And I had been collecting all of these textile scraps for years. And I had these two giant bags of fabric scraps. And I threw this bag on the ground, and it spilled open. And I saw all of this really awesome fabric. And I thought, I have nothing to do today. Why don't I make a shirt for myself? So I did. And I put it on Instagram. All of a sudden, people started asking me, like, oh, are you doing menswear now? Oh, this is really cool. How much are these? Can I get one? And I was like, oh, this is it. And I started Zero Waste Daniel. Over 20 billion pounds of textiles are thrown away in the U.S. every year. Each piece by Zero Waste Daniel uses about one pound of rescued textile waste. Twice a month, Daniel and his team travel to a cutting room where they pick up fabric scraps. Look at that. This is like what Emily was asking for. It's a giant bundle. Oh, yeah. Cool. When factories are producing fashion, everything gets laid out on what's called a marker. So the different pattern pieces have to go in different directions, they have different sizes and shapes, and what the industry tries to do is lay everything out so there's as little waste as possible. I like to think about it like making cookies. You use the cookie cutter to make them as close together as possible. But when you're making cookies, what you would do is take all the leftovers and roll them back together and roll them out again and cut more cookies. In the fashion industry, we take all those leftover like little pieces and we just throw them away. And that adds up to millions of tons of textiles every year in the States alone. And so what I wanted to do was create a process where we could ball everything up, roll it back out, and make new fabric. And so I created what I call re-roll. So even when we're cutting off small pieces like this, we could sew it again like this, cut it here, it'll be another piece, and we'll just add more scraps to it. So as we make things um, farther along in the process, they become more complex. Worldwide, garment workers face tough working conditions and low wages. That's why Silverstein makes it part of his mission to pay his team fair wages and to manufacture everything in his store. I want to be able to say to people, this is Emily. She's 25, she lives in New York, and she is super passionate about climate change, and she deserves a living wage. She made this shirt. And I think that that's a really important thing for people to understand. It's not, why isn't this less expensive? It's, this is why this costs this much. T-shirts start at $55. No two items are ever the same, and customers can order custom pieces in-house. If you don't see it hanging on the rack, you can have it made out of the textiles that we have in stock, and it can be made right in front of you and ready within an hour. Being a part of positive change and leading by example doesn't have to look less than cool. You can be edgy, fashion forward, comfortable. You can do all of the things you want and get everything you want out of fashion and still do it ethically.